Hey YouTube, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry if my voice is still sounding a little off. Um, I'm really excited actually to be here. It's been several weeks since I've filmed, but um, unfortunately I can't be too hyped up in my voice right now just because I'm still kind of recovering from my cold. Actually, it's just kind of sitting in my throat right now. Um, I'm done being contagious, but nonetheless, I seem to have caught that from going from the mountains to the beach. So without further ado let's get into it because i don't know how long my voice is going to last i am going to give you a currently inked uh update and i'm going to do a also status update on where i am with everything that's for sale i'm going to zoom in here and tell you about a couple of purchases that i've made um stationary related more than it is fountain pen related and wrap it up hopefully in a very timely fashion Okay, currently inked for the month of March. I know that um, not has, a lot has changed. Uh, with me traveling, um, I just really, A, didn't go through a lot of fountain pen writing like I thought I was going to, um, just with my, my travels here. Let me just get this out of the way, because this is in the way. Um, so for the month of February, it pretty much went like this. I um had my Coeco um per uh perico i always say this wrong perkeo i always say that wrong it's the perkeo i've got that little red one i started it off with black um fountain pen and i actually switched it to Coeco cognac brown ink for a while i did not like that it was really really dry this is the perkeo i have now trashed out that cartridge and put back in another Coeco Black. So that's staying and housing in my Yurlicky, uh pen case right here. So that's one of the pens that will go into that pen case. I did run dry. Um, Minnesuchi, I almost ran dry. I was like, I only had a drop left, so I just kind of emptied that one out. Um, in my Pilot Custom A23, I had Diamine Three Kings that was gone bye bye I also emptied out um, under my um, sorry Esterbrook SD uh, gold rush I put in I think I had ancient cop an ancient copper in that in the rocky top that got drained out of that one as well and so what I have currently left in and there's not a lot of changes in my um, pen case so I'm still holding my pens that I'm currently inking. Ooh, zoop, zoop, zoop. I'm still using my Yoseka pen wrap, the green one. I still have these pens that are currently inked for the month of March. So I'm gonna run through these really quickly. There's not, like I said, a lot of change, so that's not really radical. On the pen, the Caveco Sport uh, Black Crystal has platinum Um, let's see here. Let me zoom into this one. This one, this is the platinum uh, carbon black is in this one. And so that is in the Coeco black crystal sport. And this I do believe is a fine nib. Absolutely love running with that pen still. <clears throat> so that one's in that one. Um, going to the next neutral in the pen, I'm still um, inking up and still utilizing in this pen. This is the Sailor Pro Gear. This is Venta Lucia, and that is still in the Sailor Pro Gear Pika Cup. And this one is in a medium nib. Um, I did decide to um, add in another pen that I don't know if I actually put it into. I did. I did put it into the rotation last last time. This one is my Twisby Mini. Um, Mini Vac. I love this one. Uh, this one has, I'm just going to do Pilot Yurizuku Yamabuda. 
I'm sorry, Budo. I always want to say Buddha. It just sounds better that way, I guess, to me. Twisby. Mini bag. And that is a... This is a fine nib. Oh, extra fine. This one is an extra fine nib. I think I stated that incorrectly last month. So this one is great because you just unscrew it and then it screws and it posts to the back of the pen. Um, I'm still rocking my Platinum 3776 Shape of Heart from February. I'm almost done with this ink, but I'm not quite done. And this one has Colorverse brunch date and this one is going to be in okay wait a second this is platinum three seven seven six shape of heart and this one is in a medium nib platinums and sailors I love them in medium they're just really really smooth and then lastly, um, in my pen, I still have the Banu. Um, I might get this um, one this year at the, I'm gonna actually uncap it, keep it uncapped, in, in the DC Pin Show, if I make it over to that this year, which I think I will. Um, this has got the KWZ Berry. That is the, it smells so good. Um, Banu. Euphoria, Ocean Breeze. I'm really glad I got this pen because it's just, it is really, really pretty and it does write so incredibly well. I think this one though is a, and I can always just look at my other one, but I think this one is a medium nib. Let me see here. Nope, it's a fine. I might get it ground to a, um, Curse of Italic, I think I might do that one for this one, just because, um, yeah, it gives me a little bit of variation in my Banu um, nibs. The only other um, ink pen that I don't, I've added to the collection for this month, for the month of March, and I'm hoping that I can kind of blow through the rest of these inks, is I um, added my Pilot Custom 74 in a fine nib. I was saying previously before I got sick in February that I was going to use this month. This is Pilot Irizuku again. This is Shiku, uh, nope, I spell it right, Lisa. Shiku Ren. Um, this is in my Pilot Custom 74 in a fine nib. All right, so those are the colors that I have for March that are currently inked. Sorry about that. All right, so that concludes the currently inked for the month of March. Really quickly, I do want to run down, and um, I want to run down the other updates I have really quick. Thank you so much for everyone who has bought fountain pens from me I think I've able I've been able to sell oh a good chunk of them a good chunk of them and I don't know exactly which pens I'm going to try to procure if any this year um, but it's now sitting in the savings account <laughs> hopefully gathering interest these are the remaining fountain pens that I have left um, I'm surprised that my um, little pen design is not moving um, the Platinum 3776 is the last 14 karat gold pen. I'm surprised that one's not moving as well in the Nice edition for all the women who like rose gold. I'm surprised that one's still sitting around. Um, and the Faber-Castell Emotion because that's a really good fountain pen and the Parker IM. Some of the other ones like the Caveco um, or the Gin House, I'm not surprised that they're not selling. They're not worth a lot of money. Um, but some of these other ones like the Aurora and stuff like that, I'm surprised they're not selling, but hopefully they will sell quickly. I might have to bundle some of the Jin Hao 82s together or just give them away. Um, just because I do want to get them out of my, 
out of my household and into somebody else's household or like give somebody the experience of new fountain pens. But I will actually um, leave, I will update my Instagram feed. Um, communications should happen through penandpaints3 at gmail.com. That information will be down below. If anybody's interested in any of these fountain pens, um, I'm only going to actually leave them up for another week after this video goes live and then I'm going to take my fountain pens down and they'll stay out until another rotation comes through and I might actually throw them up or I might actually just kind of get rid of the fountain pens and just donate them away to somebody. Um, <clears throat> so there's the status on that. So what did I buy? that's new that's left so stationary wise since i've been i am reading this massive book right now the priory of the orange tree and <clears throat> because it's so massive and the world building on it is so intense i need to start taking notes and i don't want to stick take the notes necessarily um because i'm reading on the go i don't want to take my uh reading journals with me so i was in solid state books in Washington DC and I noticed that Pearl has a pocket size notebook so I bought this pocket size notebook and I used one of them for my trips that I've taken recently and I continue to use it for traveling but I'm going to start putting book notes into this little one so that I can take um, these are some of the images of the um, worlds and such from the book, I'm going to actually copy and paste them in and then I'm going to write some of the characters down because there's so many characters that are being developed in some of the fantasy books that I'm reading. I just, I need to have notes for it. So I'm going to take this bad boy with me on vacation, or I should say travel again at the end of the month coming up and it's not vacation, um, but I am gonna be traveling at the end of the month again. Um, I'm not going to take this book. I'm going to take it in my Kindle form. But this book is just, it's a massive, massive book, 826 plus pages. So um, I just need to keep my characters straight. And I'm making good headway. So if anybody's reading this book, let me know what you thought about it. Don't give me any spoilers. Just let me know whether or not you enjoyed it. Um, I'm also reading Olive Blake right now on the Atlas series. I'm wrapping up book number three of that as well. But for now, that's all I have. If you guys enjoyed the video, thank you so much. Give it a thumbs up. Um, I know that the eight pin question after one year, uh, Leanne and Simone are doing that question again. If you want me to answer the eight pin question, let me know in the comments below. And once again, thank you, thank you, thank you for those of you who um, were generous enough to buy fountain pens and stick with me and watch my channel and watch my content. I am now over a thousand subscribers. I really do appreciate it, but my voice is starting to fade. So I'm going to wrap this up and I'll talk to you guys next time. Take care. Bye.